stop right there. If you're taking vitamin D and magnesium daily, thinking they're strengthening your bones, heart, and immunity, you might be unknowingly doing more harm than good. Millions of people over 40 take these supplements every single day, believing they're safe. But here's the shocking truth. When taken incorrectly, they can cause calcium to harden your arteries, weaken your bones, and even disturb your heart rhythm. That's right. The same vitamins meant to protect your body could be silently damaging it from the inside. Most people don't realize that vitamin D and magnesium work together like a lock and key. Without enough magnesium, your body can't properly use vitamin D. And without balanced vitamin D, your magnesium levels can quickly drop triggering fatigue, anxiety, and even muscle cramps. The problem isn't the vitamins. It's how you take them, when you take them, and what you take them with. In this video, we'll uncover the seven deadly mistakes millions make with vitamin D and magnesium. Mistakes that can lead to clogged arteries, fragile bones, and even heart problems. But don't worry. You'll also learn the correct science-backed way to take them safely to protect your body and boost your energy naturally. So, if you've ever felt tired, weak, or had random chest discomfort, even while taking supplements, keep watching, because what you'll discover next could literally save your heart and bones. The first and most common mistake is taking vitamin D without enough magnesium. Vitamin D relies on magnesium to become active in your body. Without magnesium, vitamin D remains inactive like a locked door with no key. This is why many people keep taking high doses of vitamin D, but still feel tired, weak, or experience bone pain. Studies show that over 60% of adults are magnesium deficient, which means their vitamin D supplements are practically useless. The result? Weak bones, poor calcium absorption, and even anxiety or sleep problems. The second mistake is taking too much vitamin D without medical supervision. You know, a lot of people believe that more vitamin D equals better health. But in reality, excessive vitamin D increases calcium absorption beyond safe limits. When calcium rises too high in the blood, it can harden arteries, stress the kidneys, and even disturb your heart rhythm. Over time, this leads to calcification, the buildup of calcium in soft tissues instead of bones. This condition can, honestly, silently progress for years before showing symptoms like chest pain, joint stiffness, or kidney stones. The third mistake is ignoring vitamin K2. This vitamin actually works hand-in-hand -hand with vitamin D to control where calcium goes. Vitamin D brings calcium into the bloodstream, but vitamin K2 directs it into your bones and teeth. Without K2, that calcium can deposit in your arteries instead. It's kind of like building a house but never putting the bricks in place. Eventually, the materials pile up where they shouldn't. If you're not eating foods rich in K2, like natto, fermented cheese, or eggs, your calcium might be harming your arteries instead of strengthening your bones. The fourth mistake is taking vitamin D on an empty stomach. Vitamin D is fat-soluble, which means it really needs healthy fat to be absorbed. If you take it with only water or coffee, most of it goes to waste. Always take vitamin D with meals containing healthy fats, like avocados, olive oil, or nuts. This simple change can improve absorption by up to 50%. Magnesium, on the other hand, should also be taken with food, not because it needs fat, but to avoid stomach discomfort and improve absorption. The fifth mistake is choosing the wrong supplement forms. Not all vitamin D and magnesium products are created equal. The best form of vitamin D is D3, also called cholecalciferol, which your body actually produces naturally from sunlight. You'll want to avoid D2. It's just less effective. For magnesium, steer clear of magnesium oxide. It's cheap but your body doesn't absorb it well and it can, you know, cause diarrhea. Instead, pick magnesium glycinate, citrate, or malate. These forms are gentle on your stomach and actually get absorbed into your cells where they're needed most. 
The sixth mistake is not staying hydrated. Magnesium helps balance electrolytes, but if you don't drink enough water or you're missing other minerals like potassium or sodium, you can feel fatigue, dizziness, or even experience an irregular heartbeat. When you take magnesium, it draws water into your cells to help your muscles relax and nerves communicate. Without enough water, that whole process just strains your body. So, always pair your supplements with plenty of hydration and a balanced diet. Think leafy greens, bananas, and coconut water for natural electrolytes. The seventh and final mistake is not checking your blood levels. A lot of people just guess how much vitamin D or magnesium they need. But honestly, that can be risky. Blood tests show you the real story about your current levels, which helps you avoid both deficiency and toxicity. The ideal range for vitamin D is 40 to 60 nanograms per milliliter, and for magnesium, it's 2.0 to 2.5 milligrams per deciliter. You should really test your levels every six months, especially if you're taking daily supplements. Remember, your body changes with age, medication use, and diet, so regular testing is the best way to stay safe. Each of these mistakes might seem small, but together they can create a dangerous imbalance. Too much vitamin D without magnesium can raise calcium and strain your kidneys. Too little K2 allows calcium to harden your arteries. Taking supplements on an empty stomach wastes your effort. And low hydration or testing negligence only magnifies the risk. The goal isn't to stop supplements. It's to use them wisely. Scientific studies confirm that people who maintain balanced levels of vitamin D, magnesium, and vitamin K2 have a 50% lower risk of heart disease, stronger bones, and better immune function. Their energy levels are higher, their sleep is deeper, and their risk of fractures drops dramatically. This balance doesn't come from taking more pills. It comes from taking them the right way, at the right time, and in the right form. So, before you take your next dose, ask yourself, are you helping your body, or are you feeding a silent imbalance? The truth is, your heart, bones, and brain depend on how these nutrients interact. The wrong combination can lead to serious damage. But don't worry. Each of these seven mistakes can be corrected with a few simple habits. Now let's fix these seven mistakes one by one and turn your vitamin D and magnesium routine into a safe, heart and bone protecting daily habit. The truth is, you don't need to stop taking these supplements. You just need to take them the right way. Your body isn't a machine that runs on single nutrients. It's a delicate network where everything works together. When vitamin D, magnesium and vitamin K2 work in harmony, your energy increases, your bones become stronger and your heart stays protected. But when they're out of balance, even the best diet or supplement can backfire. So let's rebuild this balance step by step. Step 1. Pair vitamin D with the right amount of magnesium. For every 1,000 IU of vitamin D you take, aim for at least 100 to 200 milligrams of magnesium. This ratio ensures that vitamin D gets properly converted into its active form in the liver and kidneys. Without magnesium, vitamin D simply remains in storage, unused. Magnesium also regulates calcium levels and prevents them from rising too high in your blood. Food should always be your first source. Almonds, pumpkin seeds, spinach, dark chocolate, and avocado are rich in magnesium. But if your diet falls short, use supplements like magnesium glycinate or malate they're highly absorbable and gentle on the stomach. Taking magnesium daily, especially in the evening, can also improve sleep and calm your nerves, which is an added bonus for heart health. Step 2. Keep vitamin D dosage moderate and consistent. Taking too much vitamin D doesn't make you healthier. It can actually make you sick. More vitamin D means more calcium absorption, but if that calcium isn't directed properly, it ends up in the wrong places, like arteries, joints, 
or kidneys. For most adults, 2,000 to 4,000 IU daily is enough, depending on sun exposure. Always consult your doctor if you're going higher. Remember, your skin makes vitamin D naturally from sunlight. About 15 to 20 minutes of morning sun exposure on your face and arms can help your body produce 1,000 to 2,000 IU naturally. Sunlight is still your safest, most natural source, and combining it with proper magnesium intake ensures that your vitamin D functions perfectly. Step 3. Add vitamin K2 to your routine. Think of vitamin D as the builder that brings calcium to your body and vitamin K2 as the director that tells it where to go. Without K2, calcium ends up clogging arteries instead of strengthening bones. Vitamin K2 activates a special protein called osteocalcin, which binds calcium to your bones and teeth. It also activates matrix GLA protein, or MGP, which prevents calcium from sticking to your blood vessels. Without these activations, the calcium you consume from food or supplements can actually harden your arteries over time. You can find vitamin K2 in fermented foods like natto, which is a traditional Japanese soybean dish, aged cheese, and egg yolks. If your diet doesn't include these, take a D3 plus K2 supplement. Look for the MK7 form of K2, as it stays in the body longer and works more effectively. This one simple addition can make your vitamin D supplementation ten times safer and more powerful. Step 4. Always take your supplements with food and healthy fats. Vitamin D is fat-soluble, meaning it needs dietary fat to absorb properly. Taking it on an empty stomach or with coffee means you're losing up to half of its potential benefits. The best time to take vitamin D is after breakfast or lunch with a meal containing olive oil, eggs, nuts, or avocado. Magnesium can be taken separately, ideally in the evening since it helps relax muscles and nerves, promoting better sleep. Many people report waking up refreshed and calm when they take magnesium before bed. If you're taking a D3 plus K2 combo, take it during the day and magnesium later at night. This schedule keeps your absorption balanced throughout the day. Step 5. Choose high-quality supplement forms. Always read your supplement labels carefully. You'll want to avoid cheap forms like magnesium oxide. It's barely absorbed by your body and, honestly, it often causes diarrhea. Instead, go for magnesium glycinate, malate, or citrate. Glycinate is perfect for relaxation and sleep. Malate supports energy, and citrate helps with digestion. For vitamin D, stick to D3, also called colocalciferol, not D2, since D3 is more natural and efficiently used by your body. Also, don't forget about storage. Keep your vitamin D supplements away from heat and sunlight, and magnesium tablets in a dry, cool place. Step 6. Stay hydrated and maintain electrolyte balance. Magnesium works closely with other minerals like potassium, sodium, and calcium to regulate muscle and nerve function. If you're dehydrated, your magnesium just won't work properly, no matter how much you take. So, aim to drink six to eight glasses of water daily and include electrolyte-rich foods like bananas, spinach, sweet potatoes, and coconut water. And if you exercise or sweat a lot, you might need even more. Balanced hydration prevents dizziness, muscle weakness, and heart palpitations. These are common signs of magnesium imbalance. Remember, your body is made mostly of water, and minerals like magnesium just can't do their job without it. Step 7. Get tested regularly. One of the biggest mistakes people make is guessing their supplement needs. Everyone's body is different, you know. What works for your friend might not work for you. The only way to know your exact levels is through blood tests. You should check your vitamin D levels. Ideal range is 40 to 60 nanograms per milliliter. Magnesium levels, which should be between 2.0 and 2.5 milligrams per deciliter. And calcium levels to make sure you're not overdoing it. 
If your calcium is high but your magnesium is low, that's a red flag. Too much vitamin D could be the cause. Testing every four to six months gives you a clear picture and helps your doctor adjust your dosage safely. It's kind of like tuning your car. You wouldn't drive for years without checking the engine. When you apply all these steps, something remarkable happens. Your body starts working in perfect rhythm again. Your heart feels lighter, your energy returns, and your sleep improves. You'll notice fewer cramps, stronger bones, and clearer focus. Studies show that balanced levels of vitamin D, magnesium, and K2 improve not just physical strength, but also emotional stability and cognitive health. Magnesium calms your nervous system, while vitamin D supports mood-regulating hormones like serotonin. That's why people often feel, you know, happier and more relaxed when these nutrients are balanced. But let's simplify it all with a golden rule. D3 builds, K2 directs, and magnesium activates. These three are like a symphony. Each instrument matters, and harmony is everything. If one plays too loud or too soft, the whole melody collapses. The good news is, it's never too late to fix your balance. Even if you've been making mistakes for years, your body can recover quickly once you start doing things right. Within a few weeks, you'll notice your energy rising, your mood lifting, and your heart feeling stronger. Here's a simple daily plan you can follow. In the morning with breakfast, take vitamin D3 and K2 together with food containing healthy fat. In the evening after dinner, take magnesium glycinate or malate with a glass of water. And all day, drink plenty of water. Eat whole foods, rich in minerals, and get some sunlight. By following this plan, you're not just taking supplements. You're creating a daily rhythm that supports your body's natural healing process. Every capsule will now work in your favor, not against you. Finally, remember this truth. Vitamin D and magnesium are powerful allies, but they demand respect. When used wisely, they can strengthen your bones, keep your heart healthy, and honestly, make you feel years younger. But when used carelessly, they can silently cause harm. The difference lies in balance, awareness, and knowledge. Three things you now have. So before you take your next supplement, pause for a second and ask yourself, Am I giving my body what it truly needs, or just what I think it needs? That single question can save you years of health trouble. If this video helped you understand how to take vitamin D and magnesium safely, share it with your loved ones. Many people are making these same mistakes every day without realizing the danger. One share could protect someone's heart, bones, and life. Stay informed. Stay balanced and keep your health in harmony. Because when your body's minerals work together, your life works better.